Well, it's just gust yesterday. I went ahead and tore all the rest of this up. I got it all cleaned up now, ready to go. I've done every bit of the every bit of the demo here. What was left this morning, I got it vacuumed, got it swept up, vacuumed. Everything's ready to go with some plywood. Uh, right here, again, I didn't get into it. It's about two o'clock right now. Um, I gotta be at home at three, so I can't stay too late today, but I did manage to get the rest of this tore up and cleaned up. Got all my stuff tucked away nicely here in the back, and I was, these are nice. These are really nice. I love this whole floor. Again, I wanna be tearing this vinyl up here, leaving the subfloor, leaving that, tearing that up, skimming it over, prepping it as I mud my joints and stuff here with this. Then we shall go right ahead and uh, put down vinyl. Yeah, so that's it. About a half a day's work today. I didn't. It was about nine o'clock when I got out here, I guess. And it took a little bit just to get all of this cleaned back up and get it in operable order for tomorrow. I have service here tomorrow. I just pushed this over out of the way, stuck my cord around in there, got this cabinet over in the corner, which goes in there, vacuumed everything, uh, swept up in here, vacuumed over the little Sunday school room over here. Hopefully, I mean, I'm, I guess it's gonna have to be okay because it's what it is, but got a little tear spots here in the carpet, but it's gonna be okay, I reckon. Uh, nothing's changed over here. Everything's still the same, so. Loops go to look across that floor. You don't see anything, so. That's what I'm talking about. I love, 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 love when I can do a floor like I want to. I hate it when they say, all right, this is what I want, but I don't want to spend the money for a floor for, uh, I don't want to spend the money for underlayment or nothing like that. I told this, I told the carpet store with my new pricing, I said, I am not going to, not going to put down any sheet vinyl unless I'm able to put down vinyl I mean, underlayment. Well, you guys seen here a while back on that redo job I did. I did do it that time for him because uh, he'd already bought the job once and I was fixing it for somebody else. And then, uh, really, I don't know what I should have, but maybe it's just been a bigger. Okay, now I really need to get, he, he started taking, the, taking it a lot more serious and doing better on uh, giving jobs to me versus other people for that simple fact. I mean, it took almost a year of, it did take a year of my rates and sticking to it. Everybody might think it's just, oh, this and that. I'm going to do a video about that. It took, uh, it took a full year. Even though he said he would agree, it took a full year for, uh, to start getting decent work again. Yeah, he was giving me work. He was giving me some jobs and stuff like that, but I tell you what, it was honestly a bunch of nitpicking crap. Just something to pay the bills. And uh, it wasn't really good jobs. And I tell you what, I'm thankful for that. It sucks going through it. But for now, right now, I'm thankful for it. Because as disgusted as I was with work before that, not making any money, and then saying, okay, this is it. I'm raising my prices, and if I can't get this, then I am, I'm done. I'm, I'm going to, I'm done. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to find work elsewhere. That's how I kind of propose it to him. This is what I have to have. And I made my mind set up. This is what I have to have. If I can't get it, I am going elsewhere 
to find other work. You know, oh yeah, okay, yeah, I don't have a problem with that, blah, 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 blah. Well, a year later, uh, I was fed up again. Like I said, just because of the garbage, getting junky stuff here, junky stuff there. Basically just something to keep me busy. Now I'm grateful because that was a very slow time for everybody, I think. We had an extremely slow winter for some reason and it kept me busy. Uh, you guys see me working in the showroom and stuff like that. So I don't wanna seem ungrateful for that because I definitely am grateful. But at the same time, it got me really to my sick point because I was like, all right, forget this. I've already got sick and tired of it, raised my rates up. Now look what's going on. I'm, I'm not getting any work. Crap is happening. I was like, that's it. Once again, I, I had hit my sick point and it was right about the time, literally perfect timing that he hit his sick point. He was sick and tired of me, sick and tired of sending me out to jobs to fix other people's crap. Because even though he was paying other people to do stuff, they wasn't getting, uh, what he was paying other people to pay him cheaper to go out and do jobs and not costing as much to pay me to go out and do them yet he was paying me again to go out and fix them. So he come to the conclusion that he's saving more money just to send me out there to uh, particular jobs the first time and to do them right. And it ain't even, it ain't even like all super nice high end stuff. If there's any kind of crap to it, or if it's even a big job, a bigger job, he's starting to send me on that stuff because he's looking at it now is it's too big I don't want it to come back to bite me. So, got a couple churches coming up. This is my own job right here. Uh, I, I didn't post it a while back on YouTube, but I'm actually starting to, finally, starting to sell my own jobs and stuff. I've got lots of stuff in the making this year. This is a turning point, a huge turning point uh, in my career. Because like I said, I've, I'm absolutely fed up with not making the money that I need to make to do the kind of work that I need to do to feel good about my work. I'm not going to go in there and do crap. So I can't, it just don't work like that for me. So, uh, anyway, that's what it comes to. That's what it's got to come to. In most cases, a person has just got to get absolutely sick and tired of being sick and tired and then you say well am i going to live like this for the rest of my life i mean i could keep doing this in five years guess where i'm going to be in the exact same spot so if you want your future to be different you have to start today today is the best time to start okay uh it, it may sound a little crazy but in order for there, in order for something to change there has to be change i know that sounds a little ridiculous but Think about that. In order for there to be a change, there has to be change, okay? So if you're wanting more prices, better prices, if you're wanting better jobs, you gotta change, okay? Listen to this, I've got, I've got uh, screenshots and stuff like that. You guys know I'm, I'm all over the country and stuff like that. Um, social media and talking, a lot of people know me and stuff. I've got store uh, salesmen and owners and stuff like that. Listen, this is this is a lot to do with us, okay? Everybody's wanting better money, more money. Oh, the prices ain't changed since the 80s and stuff like that. Uh, there are stores out there, check this out. I'm working for one. If you do the work, it'll come. But, check it out. I've got, I've got a screenshot from a guy just the other day. I'll put that here in this, right here. Check it out, read this. Now, uh, you just seen that. It's a screenshot, it said, uh, he's getting, he's paying more than anybody around 
him him in his area and he can't find the guys to do quality work they're going in and banging stuff out and not doing anything up to the CRI standards or anything like that and the people is paying him a lot better than anybody else is around here okay it's just freaking ridiculous so we gripe and complain about not making enough money what are you doing to change that you installer what are you doing to change that are you doing your average work i hear it all the time i, I literally hear this all the time i don't get paid enough to do that or they don't pay good enough for me to do all of that well i mean if you're out there just doing what you say you're getting paid to do why would they pay you any extra why would they pay you more how could you even have the gall to go up to uh, the contractor the store whoever you're working for and say i need more money if you're only doing the work that you think you're getting paid for why would they offer that if you're going out here and doing x work you know x quality work and they're paying you for x quality work how can you go up to them and say i want a quality pay for this x quality work it don't work like that that is absolutely not going to work you have to give them a reason to want to pay you better than what they are paying you now you got to have a reason for them to want to give you a pay raise instead of x pay for your jobs okay if you're doing x quality work they're not going to give you a pay grade okay a quality pay grade uh you do the a quality work for a while it took me three years okay took me actually i can't even count last year because that really didn't count it's actually just now taken off like i wanted it to last year so it took me four years four years to of doing work for less money than i felt like a grade quality work to get finally four years later a grade quality pay okay they're not going to pay you a quality a grade quality pay if you're doing x quality work okay you have to put in the work before you ask for them to pay that's that's just ridiculous and and that's the way it is okay that is the way it is everywhere if you that's the whole incentive in every job force okay people get and we'll just use mcdonald's for example or walmart or home depot every year people come up for raises you're either going to get the very minimal they get or you can get the very max amount you can get guess what that depends on your work ethic what you're doing for the company what you're doing for the business are you doing a great job are you showing up are you being you know are you just doing the things that you're supposed to do yes so therefore they will uh, give you more money you cannot go in there doing the bare minimum uh, all the time and expect to get a raise you guys have to be the change i know that sounds like oh you see it all you hear that all the time it don't even make it don't even matter it's so common be the change okay you guys want it it has to start with you nobody in their right mind is going to offer you more money for doing work that you're already doing and they're paying you less who in their right mind is going to do that nobody you have to take that upon yourself to start doing better work then you'll get more money okay they are not going to give you more money if you're doing the kind of work you're doing or they would already be giving you more money or maybe you haven't stepped up and asked them i can't really say what i just said because i've done it for four years i just said that but look what i said at the very beginning of this video or just a few minutes ago in five years where am i going to be i could be scrounging around barely making money aggravated at jobs all the time because i'm killing myself for no pay living like a living like a homeless man almost because i can't even hardly afford to pay my bills i'm getting behind on everything literally literally got behind on everything worked myself into a huge hole that's right but it sometimes it takes that to establish yourself being an asset i've preached that for years make yourself an asset okay that carpet store whoever you're working for wants to push quality work they will pay you what you want 
it just takes time, okay? You have to prove yourself, okay? Let's, let's shape up, okay? Let's do it. Everybody talks about the flooring industry. Everybody talks about prices. It's up to you guys, okay? It's not up to anybody else but you. It's not up to the manufacturers. It's not up to the store. It's up to you. You do the change, okay? You have to change. You can't change anybody else. The only person that you can change is you, okay? That's it. You cannot change the store. You cannot change the manufacturers. You can only change you, and that is the best person to focus on for change. You start working on yourself. You start changing yourself to get that money that you want, okay? It's not going to just come to you. You have to change for it, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in to the channel. Until next time, FBSB's out.